Okay. All right, so we're looking at a furnace only replacement. We're gonna do water heater at the same time. And then we set up for 80% efficiency. We've got a five inch flue that's coming in. Um, and then it looks like a line has been dropped down the chimney recently, so that's good. So as far as the furnace is concerned, um, it's in a, a closet. So we'll be able to pop these doors off you know, to give ourselves good access. We put in a, a new AC and a coil in the summertime. So we're just going to work underneath. Um, the furnace is 40 inches tall, 19 inches wide. Well, we've got some good room. We're going to come back with a new return drop. This returns 12 yeah. by 20. Um, so we have plenty of room. Come back with a media filter. Put the uh, new furnace on a base air intake box. And all the electrics are good. Um, you can see that condensate pump that uh, Vince put in this summer. The drain is just over here to the side. And the reason I'm mentioning the drain is we're going to be installing a water heater as well. Right now, uh, there are two water heaters. One is not functioning, the other is. We want to take them both out. And then we can connect in uh, to the existing flue coming down. So on that swivel T, it'll be a five four three um, swivel T and yeah we need that uh, five inch uh, clean out cap on the bottom um, yeah we've got pretty good height um, guess you can see there's a shut off on the um, furnace a valve on the um, furnace and then the yeah, same on the uh, on the water heaters um, just come back in the same spot we'll have extra room um, and then as far as the access is concerned, um, we need some floor coverings down. We've got some ceramic tile, and then it's up the stairs. It's a few steps to get out, and then we'll um, go out through the um, back porch onto the driveway. That's it.